In this video, I'm going to show you how to use DaVinci Resolve's audio transcription features. I have an hour long interview that's been split between five separate takes. Audio transcription can be used to create a transcript of spoken dialogue in a clip, multicam clip, or timeline. I'm starting with the shortest take. Right click and hit transcribe audio. Once transcribed, check out how the text highlighted in the transcription follows the playback. I'm Precious Adams. I'm a ballerina with the English National Ballet. When I click on text, the playhead will jump to the corresponding part of the clip. Conversely, when I move the playhead, the highlighted text changes. Additionally, if I highlight a portion of text, in and out points will be created in the source viewer. Once I've highlighted a portion of the text, I can insert that comment into my timeline using the insert or a pin controls. Or if I want to remember a comment for later, I can create a subclip. For example, with this statement here, highlight the portion of text you want and hit the subclip button in the bottom left corner. Give it a name so you can find it later. That's not the only way to mark portions of an interview. You can also create a marker. The process is similar. Highlight the portion you want, but this time click the marker button. Don't forget to add any comments you'll need to identify it later. Markers show up when you view a clip in list view. Click on the disclosure arrow to see all the markers on a given clip. And then drag the marker into the timeline to use that clip. As mentioned already, audio transcription can be used on multicam clips. And this will come in handy for me today because our interview setup was shot with two cameras. I've already created the multicam clips and I'd like to transcribe the second take. If your producer or director needs a copy of the transcript, there's a button in the top right hand corner to export it. My favorite feature though might be the search box. I know she says something really nice about one of her teachers, but I can't recall what part of the interview. So I'm gonna type in the search field, teacher. And look, perfect, here's the statement I'm looking for. So now I'll highlight that segment and insert it. Once my edit is finished, I need to create subtitles for it. In the timeline menu, select create subtitles from audio. And I'll go ahead and increase the characters per line to its maximum value, 60. These automatically generated subtitles are incredibly accurate. One thing that has really impressed me is its punctuation. Let me show you an example. It's worked out that she's quoting her mother, so has put her comment in quotation marks. Even though Resolve has automatically created the subtitles for us, we can still edit them and tweak them as we see fit. To adjust the appearance, select the subtitle and open the inspector. There you'll see two tabs. Caption, which affects just the subtitles you've selected. Track will affect all the subtitles simultaneously. To make these subtitles look better, I'll change the size, their position, and add a background to improve readability. Well, there you go. What a fantastic tool to use when cutting together dialogue. If you enjoyed this tutorial, give it a like, and please subscribe to be notified for future videos.